it's estimated that we have about 37,000 carriers of BRC1 and BRC2 mutation among women here in Ontario. But however, in the last 20 years that we have been offering genetic testing uh, for these two genes, we have identified at most 5,000 of them. I'm Mohamed Akbari. I'm a human molecular geneticist and one of the scientists working with Familial Breast Cancer Research Unit here at Women's College Hospital. In a study we just did last year, we showed that by offering population-based genetic testing for BRC1 and BRC2 genes and identify all the carriers in our population here in Ontario, we can reduce the incidence rate of ovarian cancer by 13%, which is huge. As a pilot study, we are planning for a project to offering genetic testing to 10,000 women and men in our province at a very low price. The ultimate goal, you know, is saving lives. So our team here at Women's College Research Institute is really committed to help improve the management options for high-risk populations, particularly BRCA1 and 2 mutation carriers. Our team is currently um, putting together a study to look at the potential of circulating tumor DNA in the blood to help identify ovarian cancer and breast cancer at an earlier stage. So hopefully earlier than a clinical diagnosis. So this would lead to early diagnosis and a better outcome among women. The majority of women at the time of breast cancer diagnosis don't know if they have a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation. So we set up a study and we were fortunate to get funding to provide genetic testing at the same time that a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer for a thousand women and we get those genetic test results back within 10 business days. We are finding that women are using this genetic information to make treatment, treatment decisions. We want to ensure that by providing genetic testing we are ultimately either preventing cancer, so giving women the information that they need about prevention of cancer, or giving them information about how to best treat their cancers so that ultimately we can have an impact on survival and more women will survive their breast cancer diagnosis or never be diagnosed with breast or ovarian cancer in their lifetime.